day's hike is up over <coughs> Chinley Churn and Cracken Edge. So we start out at the lay by here uh, on the A264 and then we went across the fields down the hill to Peeper Day Farm, which is really cool. Then up the hill and along the bottom of Chinley Churn, which is called Crack Cracken Edge. So we went all the way along there through all the different uh, mines and quarries and then we drop down around the edge to come back up towards the trig point. This is a bit tricky here so I had to go, I went to try and find a route here but I couldn't do it so then I came back and uh, did a bit of trespassing over to the trig point in the barrow, back along the edge all the way along there right away to the end and then loop back down past the last of the sort of quarries back down the hill onto the main A264 and then back to the core so 5.3 miles or five and a half miles a uh, thousand foot of elevation average speed about 2.2 mile an hour which would take you probably about two and a half to three hours back of the lambs mate hello hello how are you hello you're very brave aren't you mate see Coombs Moss and uh, Castle Nays there, did a walk up there a while back. We're heading up here today, across to Chinley Churn. You can see where the quarry is as well, abandoned quarry, that's where we're heading. So this should all be good fun. Cool style, through someone's back garden. <laughs> Or like that. This is Peeper Day Farm, and the reason it's called Peeper Day, if you can just see there, there's a like a glass window, and the guy who built it uh, way back in 1841 uh, put that in. So when the sun comes up, it uh, lights up the house through that uh, eye-shaped window. And apparently, uh, somebody said to him, because he used to walk here every day, that's a really good thing you built there. You're able to see Peeper Day there. Hence, people at A Farm. So we're headed up here now, onwards and upwards to Chinley Churn. One of the items we've seen today is these slate quarries, which would be really cool. But you can see them dotted along here, running from like south to north or north to south. So we're going to go along there up to the trig point. Well, Caps now. See the manhole covers. But, uh, stunning views, chin the churn, Coombs Moss, over towards the holes, Chapel on the Frith. And you've got Mount Famine here. Did a walk on that, I'll put a link. You've got South Heb just behind it. You've got Kinder Scout there. Uh, Top of Jacob's Ladder, Edel Cross is there. You've got the downfall there, and I think that's Mill Hill and Asher Pad over there. So, yeah, Penarn Way runs all the way along that edge. But we've got the weather all right. A few clouds, a few people up here, nowhere near as many as Mam Tor. It was horrendous. The uh, traffic wardens were out, luckily, giving tickets, so there's a few people going to be a bit fed up. But yeah, but over here, I've just parked up in a lay-by down here, uh, just where that farm is, just after the pub. So yeah, no real problems parking there at all. So we're going to head up, and like I say, there's these slate mines, so we'll have a bob around all of them. faux pas there one of the batteries was flat on the gopro but i always bring two and the other one was fully charged so we're a bit lucky there see one of these quarries there i think i have a change of route actually i was going to walk here and round the back but there's not a lot round the back so i might walk up there and then walk back along the top and drop into that quarry i think that'd be far more interesting 
and then come back the way I came. That sounds like it'd be easier. So uh, had some old bloke there. Is it that full path I went for the garden? What are you doing? Did you close the gate? What are you filming for? I'm filming the walk, mate. I close the gate, I always do. Anyway, that's of that. We're going to crack on up here now. Through this gate. And uh, across the fields towards the trig point on Chinley Churn. Look at that gate. I've seen bad days, haven't it? First of a slate quarry, so you can see the spore heap here. Apparently there's five hidden mine entrances on this bit of land. Just gonna see if we can find any. But you can see the slate beds. Look, it is a good example. Yeah, look, see the layers. I put up a bit about the geology, but these were slate mines from the early 1800s. I think the last one shut in about 1929. Put the facts out, but their peak, you were getting something like 16,000 tons of slate out of these uh, quarries. But really impressive. You can see why the miners used to call it hanging death. Look at that. That was above you. That would come down quite easily. Towards the end of the mine operation, you could come and get the slate for free. It was just so, so worthless after people started using concrete. But uh, let's go have a wander around here. Here you can look, see that? That was where they were going in and it's just all collapsed in. This looks like some old wooden beam. Yep. They did use a rail to uh, move all the stuff. And you can see something else over there. Like a bit of kit. Yep. They used to winch it up apparently. There's a wheelhouse up here somewhere. We'll find that. But yeah. Bit of old kit there. Looks like some sort of winch or whatever, doesn't it? Part of a winch. We'll keep going along here now to see these others because there's about, say, five of them. Yep, yeah, nice bench there. Memory of Shirley Fiddler, who loved walking in these wild places. Look at that. It's not a bad shot, actually, is it? But yeah, we're going along here to what's called Kraken Edge. So again, another open quarry here. You can see possibly a bit of a building here or something that may have had like a little shelter or something. But yeah, see where they've been breaking it all up. Along here is what are called Kraken Edge, where the big quarry is. That was the main one in the area, but they all run along, they all like, run along this edge. So, we're going to head along here. Look at this. A little lamb up there, look. It's not that little. It's quite an early one, I think. Another old wall here or something. Definitely into that. Yeah, look at that. Cool, look at these big slabs. Hello. Bit of bleak working up here in winter. There's so much of it, isn't there, look. It's left. Like I say, the bottom fell out of the market in the sort of late 20s and yeah. Just left, a bit like the old millstones, isn't it, really? Up on Stanage Edge and stuff like that. So. Cool, on to the next one, because there's quite a lot of them. But I've hardly seen about two people, I think, maybe three. So, never a nice quiet spot in the peaks. 
yeah look you can see brown knoll in the distance it's way on south head but you can see the train because it's a cop form tunnel that's the uh vent for the train tunnel that passes underneath there got loads of planes going over from manchester airport anyway gonna see what this one holds yeah that's a deep one isn't it look at that Yeah, that's all collapsed. See, down there, the old fence post, it's all fell in. It's quite unstable, this, I suspect. These big sheet, well, you can just see it there, can't you? Cool, though, isn't it? We love stuff like this. So if you like anything like that, history or anything, most of my hikes, um, I do try and involve some history in it because it really is what it, you know, excites me. I might not seem the most excited person on the planet, but it really is cool shit, this, mate. So, yeah, like, subscribe to the channel. Check the playlist out. There's one playlist I'll put a link up called uh, Walks with History. So try that out. But they all have nice scenery too. Look at that. Beautiful. Even got some fans up there, a couple of sheep. <laughs> there we are. That's Kraken Edge. And that's the quarry. How cool is that? Yeah, another small one. But when you look, come and look at this. It's just the sheer scale of it. And uh, these big spoil bits all along this edge. This must have been a hive of activity back in the day. You know, 16,000 tonnes coming out. Not sure what time period that was over, I'll check, but it's still a lot. And you can see the wheelhouse there. So we'll have a wander down to that and then back up. Think what we'll do. Oh, what's this? This looks like a man made sort of thing, doesn't it? Maybe it's where they just went in, but that's uh, it's cool. That oh, that's nice and shelved. Yeah, just another bit into the slate beds. Another good one over near uh, Free Shire Heads or three shy side, whichever you want to call it, both are valid. There's one over there, um, just over the side of the Leet Road. That's a big one as well, but again, that was Derbyshire Slate, I believe. But yeah, cool that. Absolutely brilliant. And look at this. Two walls here. All these building structures have just been around here. This is absolutely fantastic, mate. It's just huge. Scale of it. Just massive. People have made chairs there. <laughs> Look at that. How cool is that? Slate chair. Sit down and have your lunch. Brilliant. We'll go over here actually in a minute and explore over there. I'll just take some shots of this. Look at the colours on it. It's almost like rusting, isn't it? So I wander down this bit here. This looks quite cool. Again, the centre made. I don't know if these are natural or walls, it could be just a natural slate. This is just where they've been quarrying it out. Look, superb. See if there's any entrances. And then just gonna take a quick pick. Where are we are, sis. Right. That's an entrance. I know there's one up here. Can have a quick look in there without falling over. Oh. Uh -huh. Look at that. Full of fucking beer cans. Oh, yeah, look. That goes right in there, doesn't it? See it? Look, right through there. People have been in here drinking and that, haven't they? Take your bag off, I'm have a quick wander in there. Okay, I don't know how much you caught of that. But look at this. Clearly drink beer in here. 
smoke drugs, but that goes right back. Some big slabs have come down in there. How cool is that? Imagine working in there. Jeez. Look at that. Cool, that. Trying not to smack my head. 56, mate. <laughs> not, <laughs> not made for climbing on through all shit like that. Well, yeah, that was cool. Mint. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. That's so cool, isn't it? The old wheelhouse. Look at these old wheels here. Cast iron, mate. Look at them. Wooden beams there. And that is cool, mate. That is cool, and that will make a superb photo. So let's do a bit of that. And that well over there. Why well, there's nobody about? Let's crack on. So this is the old pump house. I've got some pictures of uh, guys working on it, but look at this. Amazing, isn't it? All this iron working here, the wheels and stuff. Superb structure, isn't it? I'll find out about that. Well, like I say, I've got some pictures of the old workers. It's really cool. The main quarry face stretches for one kilometre and rises to at least 10 metres at its highest. It consists of a type of stone called rough rock flags that the quarry was formed to follow. This rock is special because it splits beautifully into thin pieces, perfect for flags and roof slates. Kraken is designated as a regionally important geological site because of the way the rock here has formed. The quarry is first mentioned in 1628 when a commission included the slate breaks at Kraken Edge. A slate break was an apportionment of a hill crest, giving the owner the right to quarry the stone. Therefore, whilst 1628 is the first known date of the quarry, we can assume it was active before then, making it at least 400 years old. By the 1700s, the region had industrialised and the village of Chinley had grown. The Peak Forest Canal and the tramway at Buxworth and Chinley were built between 1799 and 1806. In 1867, the railway came to the village. These developments greatly increased the potential for industrial output and export. The quarry yielded building stone, but specialised in the production of paving and roofing slabs. Besides surface extraction, better stone at a greater depth was extracted by underground mining. In its heyday, Kraken was sending 16,000 tonnes of Kraken stone by train every year. Kraken is a significant part of local history. It was an important resource and employer. Many local men and boys worked there, and many of the houses in Chilney have been built, the floors paved, and the roofs slated with Kraken stone. As concrete became cheap and accessible, the market for quarried slate reduced dramatically. The quarry eventually closed in the 1920s. Quite well preserved on the site are the remains of a winding wheel, which was built in 1901 to make it easier to transport the stone from the hillside to the road along a series of rails. However, it was discontinued after a while as the carriages kept coming off the track. Look at the size of that spoil heap. Bloody hell, mate. There's a skirt around the bottom and then there's a path up to the top, around this corner somewhere apparently. So yeah, you can see over towards the Goit Valley, I think that is. Yeah, Coombs Moss. You've got the Goit Valley there. That will have a uh, wood and uh, well, what's the reservoir called? Can't remember. It was quite good. Got Irwood Halls, ruins there. Oh, there's a path down there. But yeah, look at that. Scale of it, isn't it? It's just huge, big lumps of slate. With some lovely views down towards Chapel. In fact, let's try and get my bearings now. I think that factory over there might be the Frodo Brake Works. That's in the middle of uh, Chapel on the Frith. I think. <coughs> I think that is actually, yeah, because that's a bypass. Um, or is that just Aldi? I don't know. <laughs> Look at that style there. That's a beaut. That's one for styles on Twitter. I shall do that now. You can see the uh, railway bridge viaduct, or what they not. No, a viaduct in it, yeah. It's down there in Chinley. I might take a picture of that. It's superb, that is. Quite a bit, bit of Victorian engineering for you there, mate, I'll tell you. 
got a different slight angle view of Mount Famine and uh, South Head there going over towards that's Russia Page in the background and that's the uh, what's the name near Brown Knoll the uh, Copthorne Tunnel yeah superb what a view never quarry Pull up there. Well, I felt a lot better than I've done in a while. Oh. Shining tall and all that. And I think that masked in the very distance with a cow fiddle. So we're going to find our way up there. I think it's round this edge here and up there. Quite a breeze coming now. It's dropping the temperature a bit. Let's see what it's like we go up on top. But yeah. I only found one of the mine entrances. Apparently there's five. Hey ho. But look at the scenery. Coombs Moss there. Absolutely brilliant. Like I say. Castle Nays, there, Iron Age Hill Fort. I think that's the Frodo Break Works. So that's Chapel there, just over there. That's Chinley. Um, there's a V2 wreck site up there as well, which was on the video that I'm going to put a link to. But we're going to continue around here, and then we veer off up to the right and up onto the top over towards the trig. And there's something even more ancient there. But I'll tell you about that when we get there. That's a bird of prey on that rock. I'm going to try and get a picture of it before it buggers off. I don't want to see it on this ledge, but it thought it was a little owl on that ledge. I've tried to get the best picture I can with my camera. It's not a brilliant lens, it's about 20 times zoom. But if I can enhance it, enhance it. But yeah, a little owl right in that little cleft there. Superb. We're heading up this path here, up this face, and then we're on the top. Dead sheep. That's been gnawed at, hasn't it? Can't seem to get to the flipping trig point. All fenced off. What a shit show. Aiming to get there. Showed a footpath on the map. And it fenced off. Must have to come up from the other side. Well miffed. But look at the views there. Uh, Manchester in the distance. Um, trying to get my bearings because I used to live around here. <laughs> that will be coming down from Erwood into like um, Pot Shrigley and all that lot, don't it? Well, the little hamlets. Not 100% certain. Macclesfield's over the hill somewhere over that way. But yeah, look at that. That might even be Glossop thinking about it. Possibly. Could be there's a mill there, isn't there? Yeah, that could well be. And that'll be that town that was in. Oh, League of Gentlemen. But yeah, you can see right over here towards Liverpool on the horizon. Curlew's going off there. It's in Manchester. And the hill's over that way over towards Bleaklow, probably that is, I think. Yeah, that'll be Bleaklow and the like. And onwards and over towards Black Hill and all that. Look at the stunning views there. Uh, I'll get a few pictures of that, but no, I'm going to get to a trig today. I took a bit of a wrong route there. Should have gone further around, I think, to get up to it, but hey ho. It's all got some stunning views, eh? A bit miffed by that, but never mind. But you see these indents? They're trial holes for coal mines, because uh, there was some coal mining up here as well. So I think that went back to the sort of 1700s. So uh, they were trial holes used for coal mines, fairly shallow coal mining, obviously. But uh, yeah, I took the wrong bit. I didn't go up high enough on that footpath. Should have carried on going. <clears throat> but you couldn't. It was walled and fenced off. 
and it's not technically on um, open access land or anything, but the footpath clearly showed it going through the wall, and yet it was fenced off. Fucking fuckers, aren't they, mate? Uh, protest march. <laughs> I suppose it's Mr. Style more than likely than me. Anyway, stunning views of Kinder now. You've got the full range from Russia Pedge. You've got South Head and Mount Famine up towards Edale Rocks and the top where um, Checkers Ladder comes out and Edale Cross crosses a downfall right over to Mill Hill and uh, Ashup Head and that. Just see the whole plateau there now, can't you? Stunning that is. Absolutely stunning. I have to get back up Kinder. I've not had my Kinder fix for a while. <coughs> now I feel a bit fitter. Um, I think it's about a thousand foot today or something like that, climbing. Um, I didn't feel too bad. I think it's about five mile we're doing. So, um, yeah, give that a go soon, I think. I'm going to find some aircraft wrecks after I've castrated myself on this gate. Yeah, this is open access land. How the fuck are you meant to get into that? Open access? To who? Hey, Steve McQueen on his bike jumping over it. So, anyway, don't always have these rules very well enforced, do they sometimes? We'll head back onto the main path along the edge now. Um, it's a shame that, because there's a, there's a Bronze Age barrow. You know what? What time are we on? It's only quarter to three. I think what I'll do is head back and see if I can find a way up to the trig point. Because there's a Bronze Age barrow there and quite a good bit of history around that because it's one of the few barrows named after a chieftain, which many aren't because a lot of it hasn't been passed down. So I've got a bit more time, a bit ahead of schedule. I think the walks are a bit shorter going back this way. So what we'll do is we'll go and see if we can find that footpath over. I'll catch up with you and I'll try and get up there. That's where the star was, rotted through. I might have to go and try it over here, but these are a couple of going over. Because that's just bollocks anyway. And he's reporting. The path's there, you can see it, look. How are you meant to get through here? Tossers. Chinley Churn, check point. Looks like someone's trying to get that out. Isn't it? There's the barrow. Here. I didn't want you getting tish, fucker mate. Poor board up everywhere. Look, there's an old couple that helped me over. <laughs> it must have been in the 70s. Well, this might be the barrow. It's got a barrow shape to it. See, it's a small one next to this bowl. And I can assume it's that. Here. Never been excavated, apparently. Assuming it's this, never been excavated. Um, and a legend was, it was the name of a Celtic chief called Taro Trin, the Bull of Conflict. Now it's very rare to uh, name a Celtic chief with a barrow. There's not really that much history, but this was written in a book called uh, by a guy called William Bennett who wrote uh, King of the Peak. And it was the last resting place of a Celtic chieftain called Taro Trin. Okay, which is really interesting because, like I say, not many get named. I think the spelling of the name may have been anglicised or mutated from the Celtic tar for bull and dinistra, which is destroyer. So it's present state of Tara Trin. But yeah, really good there. It is a right sort of location for one of these barrows, isn't it? Look at the views. It's like they've been overlooking all of his domain. So yeah, got Manchester in the background. That would be there then. Man, the Roman fort there on the Mancunium, I think. But yeah, look at that, all oh, the Goit Valley, Coombs Moss, a whole lot. So yeah, apparently that's never been dug. So now we have a fun bit of trying to get back over that fence on my own, because the, uh, the old couple have uh, disappeared. So I have to try and find a bit where I can get over. There's meant to be a footpath, quite clearly marked. So I'll go back to that. And if he hasn't, I'm going to report it as um, a restricted access. Because it looks to me like someone's trying to move that trig point because yeah, that wouldn't be happening any other way than someone trying to shift that. I don't know whether this might be part of the barrow either, but that could be just quarry workings, more than likely. 
So yeah, there you go. Chin li churn. Tick, tick, tick. Style was meant to be, yeah. There's a fucking sign up here. Private land. Fine, mate. There's a footpath clearly marked on the other side of that wall. It's not been moved anywhere. You clearly tried to take the truth point out. Well, tough shit, mate. I trespassed up there. You can piss off. Right. Headed back along here now. Now we're seeing the old Bronze Age Barrow and that. Head up to them rocks. Coffee, pork pie, and uh, bake all tart, do they? That's the uh, little bit of a mine we were in earlier. So, uh, yeah, it's a different angle there. I'm glad I changed the route now, because I don't think, looking at that way that bloke's fenced everything off, that we would have been able to get through where I wanted to get to. So, uh, anyway, didn't rip my trousers this time. My experience again over barbed wire. Mummy ends up with me if I have to buy a new pair of trousers. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna head over here now. I'll catch up with you when we get to them rocks. Look at this for a style. That old bit of stone there. That's cool as fuck, isn't it? Huh? Oh, little shelter there. Look at that. Nothing like mines here, isn't it? Look, on the top here. Cool. Anything interesting? It's a cool little building that, don't it? Love these old workings. I think people have been up here working whatever shifts they used to work, but that'd be a good shelter if you got caught out, mate. What time are we on? Fact, this is going to be a cracking spot for a cup of coffee and a bit of pork pie, so I'm going to make use of that. Catch up with you in a minute. My hand. Oh, ee. I'm a YouTuber. Oh, man. It's a nice little shelter, this. It's all right, that, isn't it? Oh, nice walk so far. This new mic's really good. Um, it's a uh, Lavalier type mic. I'll put a link up to which one it is because I can't. Um, something Lark. Yeah, anyway, my memory's going and getting old. Oh, we'll have a coffee. Try not to knock that camera off. Um, look at where my GoPro camera was then. It's there. As long as it don't get blown over by this wind, we'll be all right. Coffee. Well, Pro or something, I think it's called. Anyway, I'll put a link up because it's working really well so far. Battery lasts forever. And uh, just simple plug and play on the camera or the GoPro. Now you can get a connector to do it to your phone, but I'd never really use my phone. I thought I might have to use it today. Because I forgot my fucking... Yeah, one of the batches was um, flat and I thought the other one might be. That's looking very rocky. Go away, wind. So, first of all, we have a nice slice of pork pie. Look at that. Mm. Can't beat a bit of baked goods. So, finally, feel like I got this virus. Still having a bit of a battle with NHS with the missus. You know, fobbed us off in this private hospital with some general sort of statement of we'll review our policies and protocols. Don't cut it, mate. That's not good enough at all. So, um, not going to have that. Um, so, yeah, can forget that, mate. The MP will be on it. Might even go and get some legal advice, I think, is where we're thinking next. Seeing the GP forensic and see they're going to raise a formal complaint as well. So, we'll see what we get to. It looks like I'm on a boat. Just rocking around that much that camera. As long as it doesn't fall over. Should be right on a big tripod at the bottom. I shouldn't have said that, should I? The wind's got up now. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to have this. Um, have a bake with tart and then catch up with you in a bit. But uh, anything else I need to tell you. The guidebook. Uh, thanks for anyone who fed back on the guidebook. That's really appreciated. 
I'm making a few tweaks to the layout now. I started adding some thumbnails of each um, key point on the map, but they were a little bit small, so I've changed the layout. So I'll probably have another draft ready in a week or two, and then I'll put it up on the old Facebook group and see what people think. So a lot of interest in it, which is good. So we'll see where that goes. I always fancied writing a book when I was young. Maybe this will be the one, the big seller. We'll be millionaires next year, Rodney. All right, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Cracking viewpoint, Manchester. In the distance, you should be able to see, you allegedly can see Liverpool Cathedral, which I think's around there. Certainly see something on the horizon, and that's where that is. That's looking back up the Goit Valley there. Uh, and Macclesfield's the other side of there. I think that's Glossop. <coughs> You've got Bleak Low over there. Um, it's just Kinder Mill Hill um, over there. You see Kinder Res just here. And then, like I've done before, you've got the whole of the plateau. Stunning 360. What a viewpoint. What a viewpoint. Beautiful. I'm going to take some pictures and we're going to wind this path down back onto the track, uh, down to the road. What a walk. Seen this so many times. And I've never, just start a bit, never ever um, walked up it. Amazing, isn't it? How you just don't see these things. Curlews. So we're moving the camera around a lot again. One of my big problems, my faults. But yeah, we're going to cut across here now. But yeah, Chinley Churn, highly recommended. You can do a bit of a loop, like you can go across, well, I think it's Open Clough or whatever it's called, up to Edale, back round, Mount Famine, you can do a big circular. That'll be some climbing in that. That's the other side of the quarry. Uh, my battery's starting a bit low now, so what I'm going to probably do is leave it till we get towards the car now, because I'm pretty much going back down the same bit as before. Old oh, milestone here, Hayfield that way. Chinley, I'm assuming, that way. I'll see if I can make a bit more sense of it when I get back. But we're near back at the car now, so I'll catch up with you. It's on the main road now. You can see where we went all the way along there and round. Look at the state of the road side here. It's fucking disgusting, mate. Cans, bottles, all the way down this fucking Levi. Built a camera that comes up, mate. The state of that. Plastic bags full of shit. Fucking arseholes, mate. Absolute arseholes. <coughs> well, whew, that's the end of that hike. A um, nice little hike, that, up over Chinley Churn, along Cracking Edge for all those um, sort of 19th century uh, slate mines and quarries. And then we were over to look at the um, Bronze Age Barrow and Chinley Churn trig point, and then back along the top and then down. It was really nice. Bought some cracking views from there. Oh, it's a shame I've not been up there before, actually, to be honest with you. Yeah, anyway, so a uh, really good walk that, first one for a while, so plenty of history in that, and uh, you know, we explored a mine a little bit, and I uh, saw Little Owl, but Curlews, we looked at the wheelhouse, uh, it was really good stuff, I really enjoyed that, not too hardy a, a walk, I'll check out and I'll put up what um, the altitude was and the mileage, the original walk where I went along and then ran the back, about 5 mile and 1100 foot, this will be a bit less I think. Uh, looking at it so uh, I'll put up the details of the route etc as I always do. Anyway I'll catch you on the next hike.